So Dead by Daylight came out with the new Ringu Killer PTV today. We're gonna check it out. Apparently there's some cool stuff going on. I've tried to stay away from the spoilers on Twitter. A few things are kind of spoiled, but I think it's gonna be okay. So we're gonna take a look. We're gonna see what happens. Where, where's, oh! Whoa! Ma'am? Ma'am? Whoa! You're creepy. It's just like, it's making me very uneasy. <laughs> okay, well... Okay. Does she have any... She probably doesn't. Does she have any, like... No, no cosmetics or anything. Okay, so her perks are Scourge Hook Floods of Rage. You form a psychic connection with the entity and alter the rules of the trial. At the start of the trial, up to four random hooks are changed into Scourge Hooks. You will see their auras in white. When a survivor is unhooked from a Scourge Hook, all other survivors have their auras revealed for five seconds. Okay. Call of Brine. Uh, your psychic abilities influence technology in devastating ways. After damaging a generator, this perk becomes active for 60 seconds. The generator regresses at 150% of the normal regression speed, and its aura is revealed to you. Each time a survivor completes a good skill check on a generator affected by this perk, you receive a loud noise notification. Okay. Merciless Storm. Your horrible trauma is felt by everyone. Emotional, Emotional damage. damage. Sorry, <clears throat> too much TikTok. When a generator reaches 90% progress, survivors working on the generator will be faced with continuous skill checks. If they miss or stop repairing, the generator is blocked for 16 seconds. Odd. I am curious how fast those skill checks will hit because 99% of the people I'd go against would be like, oh, cool. This gen's just gonna go a million times faster now. All right, let's read her power. Let's read the power. How do you say that? <laughs> Deluge? Deluge? D I don't know how to say it, of fear. Deluge? What? Through the medium of a mysterious videotape, Sadeko spreads her curse to unwitting viewers and causes their untimely deaths. Before manifesting, the Onryo gains the undetectable status effect and is invisible to survivors but becomes intermittently visible when within 32 meters of them. The Onryo, am I saying that word right? I don't know. Must physically manifest to attack survivors. Press and hold the power button to manifest into material form in your current position for a brief duration after manifesting. The Onryo will continue to be intermittently visible to survivors when within 32 meters. Afterwards, she will be fully visible within 32 meters for as long as she remains manifested. The Onryo can demanifest by pressing and holding the power button. Can also take material form by projecting herself through a TV. <laughs> I'm excited. I'll press the ability button while looking at a powered TV to project into it, shutting the TV off in the process. All survivors within 16 meters of the TV gain condemned progress. A fully condemned survivor is revealed by Killer Instinct and can be killed once downed. Survivors can temporarily turn off TVs with the retrieve tape action. This adds condemned progress to the survivor while holding a tape. The survivor can continue turning off other TVs, further gaining condemned for doing so. One specific TV will have its aura highlighted to the survivor. This TV allows the survivor to spread the on reuse message by inserting their tape. Doing so removes some contaminant progress. I think I've butchered every word in this and I have no fucking clue what I just read. I'm gonna be really honest. I read, I read the ability. I read the ability, but it, it did one of those like, it like in one ear out the other. I have no idea what I just read. So we'll do it live. Man. Man, s stop that. <laughs> I can't stop. She's being so creepy. <laughs> Dead by day, 
Twilight, we have all agreed, is no longer a scary game. My heart, Jesus Christ. That one got me really good. I love that. That is creepy. Oh, I love scaring people. I don't know if I scared you, but I did get a grab, so I feel good about that. Uh, up you go. Let's go over to that one. Let's go to this. This TV right here? Ooh, hello. Hello? They're in the basement. I'm liking it because I'm being scary. I feel like I'm I'm being we're living up to this character. We're being scary. Oh wait, you're still here. Where are you? I hear you. Are you in here? Where are you? I found you. Finally. Alright, let's go find... Where did you go? There you are. I caught me a Michaela. Mm, didn't see any auras. Oh, because there's somebody right here. Trying to pull a fast one on me. Nope, not today. Oh shit. I got really scared about that blind. She does like a kind of like a a staticky kind of look when she's invisible. Oh, I was so close to a grab. So close to a grab. You're coming with me. So tinker with her is, uh, it's, it's pretty strong. So they're over there, right? And I want to go to this TV because it puts me so close to them. And I'm also undetectable there. No! I figured. That's okay. You think I'm that stupid? where they are because of barbecue i teleport literally right next to them and boom we're back in another chase so fast wow <laughs> their faces look really weird when the mori starts also i think there's people over next to that tv hey look i was right scratch marks they're going this way. See, I knew I could do that and you would think that I was dropping down in the hole. Ho oh, ho, get mine game. Whoa! Sorry, I'm having a lot of fun right now. I do 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 Angry bees! She's she's a very short killer. She's like as short as Hag is. Dude, I'm telling you, 
100% they change stuff with palettes. 100% they change stuff and didn't say anything. 100%. I am getting hits through palettes again like the old days and it feels fantastic. There's a lot more back and forth with palettes with the potential to hit people through them. And uh, since it's been that way in the game for years and years and years and years and years outside of the past, I don't know, hit validation stuff, um, it just feels better. No, I'm, I'm not getting better. It is not anything that I have changed specifically. They're, they're hits I used to get that I stopped getting with hit validation that I am now getting again. That's actually the main reason I typically ran Enduring on my killers is because I would swing through every single pallet. Because a lot of the time you'd get a free hit out of it. You stop being able to get a free hit out of it when they turned on hit validation and all of that. I am going to switch to Survivor because I want to go against her. I'm bringing the Spoopy for good luck. It wasn't me, I didn't do it. Chat made me fail the skill check. Okay, that was horrifying. Save me! I'm sorry, I'm being toxic. We're away in your little yellow coat. I'm calling him Georgie. Can I play with this? <gasps> I have a tape. I have a tape. I have a tape. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> She's just so goofy the way she carries people. No, my 360 didn't work. It's okay. I'm a little rusty on the 360s. Have I mentioned that I don't like playing the men in this game? Woo! That was scary. They feel so big and awkward and clunky. Does she look like she's shimmying to anyone else? She kind of walks like... <laughs> look at my shoulders. I seriously, he needs a little red balloon. This survivor, he needs a red balloon. Hi, Georgie. Oh, is she coming out of the TV? Yes, yeah, she is. That's one thing that I've noticed with her that I think just happened with this killer. It's very disorienting when you come out of the TV because you're like, where am I? Because it's all—it's never facing the direction that you were trying to teleport to. Like, it feels like you come out, like, reversed. I'm well aware you come out of wherever the TV is facing. I know. I want this. This is mine. Ha! <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. That was a solid one. I feel really good about that. This is fun. <sighs> okay, so final thoughts about the new Ringu killer, the Onryo. Um, I think she is a very like, she's pretty solid, like traversing the map. She teleports. She can find people pretty quickly because of it. You pair uh, her ability with barbecue and chili and tinkerer. And she, she actually does really, really well with like keeping her on gems and just closing in the gap and finding people like immediately after you've hooked them, you find somebody else really quickly. Uh, unfortunately, she doesn't really do much in a loop, which is pretty standard for all of the killers lately with DBD. Overall, I think she's by far the creepiest killer we've ever had. The whole lobby thing, it's a lot. <laughs> right now, I don't like making assessments about like what tier a killer is. I say she's, she's like mid tier two strong, like, mid to strong like she's 
She's like somewhere in there, but I still need more time with her to figure it out. But overall, I really like her design. I like the aesthetic. I think she looks cool. She sounds cool. She's creepy. They nailed the Ringu vibe. And I'm loving it so far. 